Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make a fishtail rubber band bracelet without the loom. This is what it looks like. It looks really cool. I'm sorry about the lighting. Maybe it's just with these colors, but this is how it looks. You can see these two colors better. This is how it'll end up. Um, so let's get to the supplies. Okay, so the supplies you're going to be needing is a something to secure your um, bracelet with. I'm using a jump ring. You could also use a C-clip, an S-clip, or, or, or a knot. You can also need some colorful rubber bands. You can get these. I've got these rubber bands at AC Moore. They stretch really good. And you just, I like using two colors. I think these two colors look really nice together. Um, you can use any colors you want. I'm just using those. So let's get to the tutorial. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is you want to take your first color and you want to loop it. You want to put it on your pointer finger. Then you want to twist it. So it'll look like that. Then you want to put it onto your middle finger. Then push it down. So you get like a kind of like an infinity sign or like an eight. Then you want to take your next color, then you want to stick it on just like that. So right now it's pink blue. Then now you want to take another pink, you want to do your pattern and then put it on top. Make sure that they don't overlap anywhere. Then you want to take the bottom one that you looped it with. Then you want to bring it up like that up and over, up and over, then you want to push it down, then you want to keep on adding another rubber band, so then you want to take your next color, mine's blue, whichever color's on the bottom is going to go on top again, then you want to put it back on, so each time you put one over, you put a rubber band over, you're going to be adding another one, so now I'm going to take bottom one over bottom one over so each time you want to do um, the bottom one so now I'm gonna add a pink one sorry about that um but you want to do that and you want to loop it over loop it over Then you just want to do this for the whole way down until you get your um, bracelet size. And I'll just show you one more time. So take your next color, loop it onto your fingers. Take the bottom one, loop it over. The bottom one, and loop it over. So you just want to do that for the whole way down. And you'll end up with a beautiful fish tail bracelet. And once you get to about here, you see how it's so gappy in the middle. You just want to pull down so that it becomes longer and it's not gappy in the middle. Just like that. So keep doing it until you want your bracelet size. Once you are done making the fishtail bracelet for the exact size that you want it. You want to simply take out the two at the end. Then you want to take your jump ring or your C hook or S clip and you just want to simply put the rubber bands through the openings of the jump ring and you want to make sure it's straight when you're connecting it for the second time sorry if you can't see just
then there you have your fishtail bracelet. And I just love how they turn out. They just turn out very, very nice. And you can do them in all, um, all colors and all different sizes for different people. So I hope you guys like this video. Please comment and subscribe. Um, uh, thanks for watching, I guess. Bye!